Hey guys, what's up? My name is Roman Anthony, aka at the Turban Hair Stylist on Instagram. So today I am going to make two wigs. I know that's a lot to do in one day. We'll see. I might have to splice this up. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm just gonna go bleach my knots on this wig. I mean, there's a million tutorials on how to bleach knots on YouTube. Um, I'm not sure how many of them are licensed cosmetologists. I am a licensed cosmetologist. However. Uh, that really doesn't matter because they don't teach you how to do wigs and weaves and stuff like that in cosmetology school. So that's just something you have to know <laughs> how to do. So we are going to bleach the knots. The one thing, a uh, tip or advice I can give you is that I notice a lot of people, they make the, um, I'm going to call it a batter, the mixture of the developer and the uh, bleaching powder, too creamy. You want it to be really thick like a, like a paste um, so that way it doesn't bleach through to your knots. And then we're gonna actually get into coloring and lightening these wigs after I make them, which is gonna be great because that's where the real tips come in. Okay guys, so what you wanna do is you want to center your frontal and your wig cap. You wanna basically put the wig cap onto the mannequin head. You want to place the frontal about an inch and a half um, onto the actual wig cap. You don't want it to be um, lined up properly because you're going to cut under the wig cap and you want that excess front on. What you're going to do is you're going to put a pin in the center and on each side and then, then you're going to sew starting in the middle down one side and then sew down the other side. Yeah, we're going to do diagonal backs and diagonal forwards and unfortunately I cannot get my Alexa to work so here's me singing some Whitney Houston I guess. If you're searching for a real place, you know a familiar place, somewhere to go. Okay, guys, so you want to basically remember start in the center of the front row and then sew down one side, a diagonal back. If it's on the left, it'll probably be a diagonal forward if you're on the right. These are cosmetology terminologies, so if you need me to explain it uh, simplified, please let me know and I can do another video. Um, sorry about the Whitney Houston. Everybody in my family, for some reason, was playing like the body, uh, the Wait and Exhale movie or whatever, so that's why I kept, that song was stuck in my head and I couldn't get Alexa to work. Now, I know some cosmetologists might say, why don't you just do two diagonal backs on each side? But after I do the opposite side, the reason why I do the um, opposite direction of a sewing method is because I like to pull down on the front row and sew opposite. So that way, um, it almost unified where it's almost like if you actually sew the whole thing on one method rather than starting in the center. That's just me. You can start in the center and go down on both sides. Um, I'm probably a little weird like that. Um, I just like it to not bunch and I like to hold on to that. So this under track method I got from my sister and basically that's what you do is you lift the back of the weight cap and you want to sew a track under there. And that's just so that if you want to wear your hair into a ponytail it's more, there you go, you can hide a little bit more. Uh, so shout out to my sister Marcel for that tip, uh, thank you. Um, yeah guys, my mom and both of my older sisters are hairstylists and I have actually been sewing weaves since I was 11. Wigs are, I've only been doing for the last few years, especially because frontals and things like that haven't been around as long, or at least not how they are today, but you know, because wigs have been around. Um, but yeah, we'll finish. Basically, this is just a small tutorial on how to do the frontal and then the little back. Uh, and then we have another uh, tutorial on like full wigs and stuff. So after creating the wig, cutting it, coloring it, my best friend was like, take out your dreadlock extensions and put the wig on. So this is the final result. No, I did not pluck it or cut the lace because it's my mama's wig and she can do all that. 